Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our decline curve analysis series. And today's topic is about nominal versus effective decline rate. So if you are dealing with decline curve analysis, for example, to forecast the production, you basically have two options to describe, to express the decline rate. The first one is using nominal decline. You can see this left picture. And the second one is to express it using effective decline. You can see this right picture. And you can see the two pictures, the two declines are quite different. So we start with nominal decline. What is nominal decline rate? Nominal decline rate is the fractional change of the oil production rate per unit time. Mathematically, you can calculate the nominal decline rate symbol capital D here using this formula. So it's minus differential of the logarithmic natural of flow rate with respect to time. All right, so, or it is negative, the rate of change of flow rate with respect to time per flow rate. All right, so the first thing is here, we have negative symbol here. So this is about negative slope of this curve. The curve of production history. The curve representing the flow rate moving across time. The change of flow rate with respect to time. And another thing that is very important here is we have differential operation. D of something, in this case, D of the flow rate with respect to time, DT. And this is very important. So what is differential operation? If you go back to calculus, you have this expression. Okay, so Y here is the, you know, logarithmic natural of the flow rate. And X here is time, so DX is dt and when we are talking about differential it is actually delta time goes to zero and you can apply this expression to this flow rate and the time so basically when we are talking about the rate of change of flow rate with respect to time we are actually talking about the change of the flow rate within a very short period of time. So with delta time, the change of time tends to zero, goes to zero. What is the change of the flow rate? So basically that's the meaning, that's the definition of differential. Again, with delta time that is very, very, very small, what is the change of the flow rate? And that is expressed by the nominal decline rate. So when we are using nominal decline rate, it's a very detailed computation. This is a very accurate computation. You will consider all the history of the production. You will miss nothing. You will consider everything. You will consider every second of it to be extreme, right? because you will consider all the time. And you see, the time goes to zero. So basically you integrate everything, you consider everything, you will miss nothing. There will be no history that will be neglected by the differential operation. Okay, so that's the fundamental definition of differential. So nominal decline rate is actually very good if you want to use it to, to do, for example, engineering analysis, reservoir engineering analysis. This is the mathematically correct way to express the decline of the performance. Okay, so that's the thing. And again, if you want to know the, for, for example, if you want to know the cumulative production, Using nominal decline rate, using this method, you will have a very accurate or very 
theoretically correct cumulative production. Because, for example, here, you have this continuous function of production history, right? This is continuous function of production history. And if you want to know the cumulative production, what is the cumulative production? This is basically the area underneath this curve, but within this limit of dt, right? If I zoom in, so you can see this green area. This is the area underneath this curve within interval of dt, which can be very, very, very small, infinitesimally small. So the cumulative production within this dt is the area underneath the curve. So this is a very accurate, this is a very detailed computation of the cumulative production. If you want to do analysis, if you want to do research, for example, this is the correct way. This is the theoretically, mathematically correct way to express the nominal decline rate. I mean, to express the decline. Okay, but we also have another thing which is effective decline. So what is it? Effective decline is a stepwise function where each step represents the reported production. And this is the formula. So effective decline, DE, is QI minus QI plus 1 divided by QI. So the first thing is, this is stepwise function as opposed to continuous function in the case of nominal decline. Okay, so this is stepwise function where each step represents the reported production. So for example, QI is the flow rate in January and then Q2 is the flow rate in February. Okay, so decline effective decline rate is the production rate at January minus production in February divided by production in January. And when you go from February to March, you will get another effective decline. So it's a stepwise function. And here, if you want to calculate the cumulative production, actually you will you will miss something, a portion of it. You can see this white triangle. You will miss them. You will neglect them. They will not be considered within the computation as opposed to the nominal decline rate where you will consider everything. You will integrate everything to get the cumulative production. All right, again, so effective decline rate is the decline rate over a time period. It is basically a proportion by which the production rate reduces over a given time period. And you see, the two decline rates have their own applications. If you ask me if you want to perform proper detail engineering analysis, you will describe, you will express the decline rate using nominal decline rate. But if you, for example, want to perform quick computation, quick data reporting, the best way is to use effective decline rates. So both decline types have their own uses, have their own applications. Again, this one is proper detail engineering analysis. This one can be used for, for example, reporting. And fortunately, we can connect, we can relate them very easily using this formula. Okay, so effective decline rate is one minus exponential of the nominal decline rate. So they are connected, they are related to each other. Okay. So I think that's all. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Angman videos. Thank you.